G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here with another episode in Season 3 of our playthrough of Pathfinder Kingmaker Beneath the Stolen Lands. When last we left off our party of Kinetic Knights and Kineticists is pretty much all set up now. We have Rhyme, our uh, cold-wielding Kinetic Knight, who has a backup light mace and light shield in case his uh, cold is not doing any damage to his opponents. We have Sky, our uh, swashbuckling kinetic knight. Uh, she has a dagger in her offhand. And we have Ash, our uh, kinetic magus. She's an eldritch scion kinetic knight. Um, so she has spells as a backup, although we do need to buy her some better armor. So let's quickly do that. Um, is there a chain shirt plus one? There is. And really, while we're here, is there a better weapon we can give um, Ash? So we'll just do those. So we'll give you a dagger plus one, and we'll give you that chain shirt. And then we have three straight kineticists. We have Brina, who is a fire kineticist. She has a heavy crossbow plus one as a backup. We have Joven, who is a uh, electric kineticist. And we have Izana, who is a ice kineticist. And, and they all have heavy crossbow plus ones as their backup weapons. Uh, and we hope not to use those, but our last level was a level where everybody on the level was ice creatures or modified versions of normal creatures that had been modified to be ice creatures. Um, and so they were basically invulnerable to ice. So that meant a third of our party were doing no damage at all because they were using ice damage types. Um, and so, yes, we've now got everyone equipped so that they can handle that so this is definitely not going to be an ice level anymore this is i don't know if this is a like a fire or a this might be like an ether type level i don't know whether it's called ether or not but uh, it's very smoky but there's no actual fire we'll see what happens in the combat Oh, undead, which means, well, at least the skeletons are not vulnerable to ice, to cold. So they are invulnerable to cold. So I am going to have to, and I'll prove this in a minute because our first one to attack will be Izana, and I'm going to get her to attack first and prove that it's not going to work, and then we will switch weapons. So if I get her to throw at this guy it's damage reduced because he is immune to cold. So she is definitely going to switch to her crossbow. And it also means that Rhyme, once it's his turn, will need to switch as well. Um, this touch of fatigue is probably not going to do much. So Ash is going to use Shocking Grasp instead. And you missed with that. Um, Joven should be fine to use his electricity. Oh, we got a skeleton archers back there. Let's try and get rid of this champion as quickly as we can. Uh, Rhyme, I need you to switch weapons, which means you can't attack this round, but you're going to have to switch weapons because that's not going to do you much good. Uh, and we don't need either of those two abilities, as we pointed out last turn. Okay. Actually, I should have turned on his... Um, I should have turned on this ability, this Shroud of Water, for Rhyme, because he's only using a light shield at the moment, so that would have increased his AC by one. Why are you... Oh, i got to turn that off. Uh, I forgot to do that, and that meant that she couldn't attack properly. Annoying. Um, Ash, please finish that guy for me. Oh, he, he had um, mirror image on as well, so he's going to be a right royal pain in the butt. Um, at least 
that got rid of one more of those. Miss. Uh, and you missed as well. And I forgot to, again to turn on Rhyme's Shroud of Water. I'm doing terrible at the moment. Okay, Azana is working now that we turned off her attempt to throw her cold. Wonderful. Get him moving towards his next target. And you can start moving towards your next target as well. Uh, how far do you have to go to be able to shoot at him? Good. Who did you just hit? Ash. That's alright. Ash is coming for you anyway. Should have used the elemental ray from from back there. You're not going to be able to get close enough to throw at him this round. Uh, yep. And rhyme. Let me just double check this. 24, 25. Good. That is exactly as I expected. Okay, it's as close as we can get there. Damage reduced. Well, doesn't mean we're not going to be able to do any damage at all, it just means. Not as much as we would like. Nice hit. Very well done, Ash. Joven, can you finish him off? You can. Let's get you moving over towards this guy as well. Thank you. Good. Let's get Ryan going in the right direction as well. This is the biggest problem playing all we folk is um, they take forever to trot along anywhere. Um, you note that I'm not going to bother switching weapons back and forth because if there's one lot of skeletons on this level, there's going to be more. Um, and so not all undead are invulnerable to cold. Um, but the skeletons definitely are, so it's worthwhile keeping those weapons out. The obligatory trap. Oh, and it's a pit already, and it's only level five, and we've got pits. That's terrible. Thankfully, none of us actually fell down the pit. Right. Um, I don't know which way to go, but I guess we're going this way. More skeletons, and there's another one around there. I might send Sky this way. Just so that we've got, and maybe Brina. Maybe Brina can come with you. And everyone else will go this way. Oh! Beautiful crit! With a heavy crossbow, no less. There's another one down here. We saw just briefly a second ago. 
Yeah, there we go. Two skeletons this way. Oh, these guys aren't coming this way. Alrighty, yeah. Be like that then. See if I care. Big question. No, it didn't stay on, which is annoying. So it means I gotta keep turning on that shield thing. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep coming this way just in case. Yeah, no. No one's going to come around that way, but... Flank them. Got you in a little crossfire there. You missed. I mean, so did I, but. Okie dokie. A couple of great swords. Hmm. Secret door, secret door. really all that useful that we can use but it's all money and we got this chest up here all right mustn't forget we've got the other door here it goes up that way these rooms when they're up here it's great when you're in, when you've got a party of archers when you're fighting a group a group of the guys up on one of those i suppose it's a dais is it uh brina okay i want my straight kineticists attacking the guys up on here in particular this archer because the only other way we're going to be able to get to that archer is someone actually coming all the way up those stairs there we go wow you couldn't get close enough Oh, that's some sort of skeleton magus by the looks of it. Or maybe a, just a skeleton spellcaster. Look, I don't understand that. You know, I thought undead spellcasters were liches, but apparently not. Apparently you can have these weird guys that are skeletons that can still cast. But why am I doing that? I did, didn't realize that was Ash, damn it. I thought it was... One of my straight kineticists. I thought it was Brina, I think. Damn it.
There we go. Um, you can come over here and attack this guy. Get up in his face. Beautiful. And there we go. That was... Yeah, wasn't that hard at all, really, was it? Uh, what have we got over this way? Anything interesting? Doesn't look like any secret doors. There's a chest there, there's a trap here. Secret doors or anything like that over here. Is there more than one? Is there a hidden chest up here somewhere? I feel like we would have seen it if there was. So let's just unlock that. Oh my god. Three tower shields. Surprised we're not overloaded already. Yeah, we look we almost are. Um They are just ridiculously heavy and not worth the gold. If we come across anything else that we want to carry, we're going to drop those shields. Uh, I knew there was a door along this wall here somewhere. Pedestal room. Are we empty? Is this the exit? What do we get? Unyielding spirit. Insight bonus to saving throws against spells and spell-like abilities from illusion and enchantment. There you go. What's that ring? I think that's the rage one, isn't it? Yeah, inner demon. Barbarian rage. Another door there. Just checking for hidden treasure chests, not hidden rooms this time. Skeletal Champions, Skeletal Archer, right, um, Skeletal Champion needs to go down first, if at all possible. our weapon enhancement. Nice. Uh, yeah, that gets rid of one of those. Can you charge in as well? You can. Oh, no, that was the wrong one. I wanted you to do it that one, but that's fine. You almost killed that one, so... Now that we're, I was going to say, now that we're there and he's almost dead, it seems worthwhile to try and kill that guy, but we really need to take on the skeleton champion. Yeah, better than nothing. See, that's how you do it. Champion down. 
Taking a few hits there. Can I get these guys to concentrate? There we go. And one hit on the archer. That's good. Should have should have concentrated on that guy because he's already injured. Go. And that is how you do it, folks. Oh, come on. Yeah, knew that was going to happen. Actually, I'm not entirely sure you have to worry about encumbrance in this game. Because I've been encumbered and been able to go back up to the, you know, above ground and sell up without any issues, without having to drop anything. So let's just see. I'm not going to drop anything this time. Okay, we've got this room over here we haven't done yet. So let's just do that. Just out of curiosity, do these guys have blur? They do. Uh, yeah, take on the archer, please. Shocking grasp here because it's going to be better than just using touch of fatigue. And there we go, two hits and he's down. for secret doors and hidden chests what have you and there isn't any so we're all done so just before we go down I'm going to switch back to my preferred weapon sets so there we go, and for you, we will switch back to that, and that, there we go. Just because if I don't remember to do that, then I could end up in a pickle at the start of the next level. Oh, nobody leveled up. We're close though, we're very close. So we're going to head back up, sell up. As you can see, we haven't had to drop anything, so we're overloaded. We're actually considerably overloaded, I believe. Um, where are we? Yeah, we're 189 pounds overloaded, but it hasn't stopped us from going up or down, so that is very handy.
Okay, all sold up. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Season 3 of Pathfinder King Maker Beneath the Stolen Lands with our party of Kinetic Knights and Kineticists. If you enjoyed this episode, please give me a like and share it with your friends. Be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest episodes, and I will see you for the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.